Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Under Armour logo inside Microsoft Word. And as you can see on the left it's an image downloaded somewhere from the Under Armour website. On the right there is an actual logo created inside Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start with a blank document. I already have the logo pasted. What I will do is I will open the format ribbon and I will fade this image using the color options. I will select this washed out function so it's not blocking our way. We can see it better. And let's let's somehow uh, you know take a closer look at the logo itself. As you can see, it's done from two different shapes, which are just upside down. So we will focus on one shape only, and we will try to examine how the shape could be created using the Bezier curves. So if you haven't, if you have some you know seen the Bezier curves for the circle, if I quickly draw a circle like this then I select edit points, you can see we have four different Bezier curves, which means that for, the, uh, for an arc we only need three. And arc is actually what we have in here, so if I select the drawing functions, you can see that this, this bottom part is actually, the bottom part of the top shape, this one, is an arc, so we need three Bezier points, one being here, second being here, and the middle one being somewhere in here which should be enough to form this bottom part of the shape. There is also an arc on the top which goes from, from around here to around here. So we also need three points. We need three points. First one, second one, and the last one being here, which will create this second arc. Here you can see this is a straight line. So we need second, you know, one point here for the straight line and one point here for the straight line. And there is a small arc in here, but it's so subtle that we don't need this in between point. We should be fine with just two points. So with those uh, six, uh, seven, eight different Bezier points, we should be able to create this shape. So let's try it. I will stop inking and I will select insert shapes and the new shape being this uh, free form shape. And I will simply, simply start by clicking on those Bezier points, which we had just uh, outlined. So I will click on each point. I will not click and drag, I will just click on each point and for the last point I will click over the first point like this. Then I will set the outline to no outline and most likely the fill to be have a little bit of transparent fill so I can see the underlying logo a little bit better. I don't need those drawings so I will just erase them so they are not blocking our way like this. And then what I will do is I will zoom in as much as I can in this in this view and make sure that all the points are aligned with the logo they seem to be aligned so i will select the shape right click select edit points and i will select this point set the smooth point same for this one this should be smooth point this one should be smooth point as well and this one should be smooth point as well you can see it's going from the left to right so it's you know it got us a little bit different shape but we will fix this in a minute we will start with the bottom arc so this one should be going straight down like this as well as this this one so this one should be going straight down then we will increase the arc by just dragging those handles like this you can see we are not quite following this shape in here so what i will do is i will just move this handle more to the bottom and i will do the same with this handle i will move it more to the bottom like this and it seems like the bottom shape is almost the way it should be so I'll continue with this one. I will again make this a little bit wider like this. And I will make sure that this one is horizontal like this. Same for this handle. Those should be you know, pretty much aligned just to, just to form the straight line. And the only missing pieces are those two small arcs which could be easily formed by just offsetting or moving this handle a little bit to the top. Same for this one like this. And we'll do the same for the right part of the shape, like this. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. I will zoom out, I will change the f shape color to be black, of course, without any transparency, so I will set the transparency to zero. Then I will copy-paste this shape, rotate it by 90 degrees, and just place it to the right spot, like this. We can even add the text below if I select Insert Shapes and the text box. I will type in under of course under armor and the font is a modified euro style font so i will use a standard euro style or euro star font i will put the link in the description i will set the outline and fill for the 
shape to be no fill so I can see the text below and I will just increase the font size until it's almost the same. I believe it should be around maybe 40 points, maybe 40.5. Seems around the same size, so center line it and move it over the over the font. If I move it down below and zoom in, you can see that you know some some letters are a little bit different. They are more rounded, and there are those you know gaps in those letters. I, I believe that we can add those gaps quickly by just drawing uh, triangles. If I select insert shapes and I will select this right triangle, I'm probably sure that we can draw it like this. Set the fill to be white and outline to no outline. And I will just copy paste this shape a few more times for each letter where it, this shape should be you know, present. So one should be for the letter E. I will probably zoom in even more so I can move this shape better like this. And I can here, you know, type uh, or press uh, Control C, Control V, or I can just drag the shape with the Control key pressed. This will duplicate the shape as well. The letter A is a little bit different. We need a different shape, so I will jump to the letter R first. And I believe there is one more R letter in here. Okay, so here it is. So this is one more R letter, and we need the A. For the A, we need a standard triangle, which is this. Uh, I just, you know, I cannot spell it, but standard triangle, like this. Again, white fill, no outline. Position it properly. I will zoom out. I will select the, all the objects, not all the objects, but select objects tool. I will select all those new objects together with the text box. I will group this together, move it below the logo. And as the last step, I will just hide the original logo. So I will select the selection pane or show the selection pane and hide this picture. And voila, we have a nice looking Under Armour logo done in Microsoft Word. And that's it. Thanks for watching.